I'm Mark Sheldon, sir, reporting for duty. Oh, yes. Glad to meet you, Mark. Have a nice trip? Well, I lost a lot of sleep worrying about this meeting. <laughs> yes, I felt the same way myself the first time I reported for duty. But I get over it. So will you. Sit down. Thank you. Well, we have our first and possibly our last talk. How's everything in Kansas City? Fine, thanks. You, uh, you know what you're getting into, Mark? Yes, sir. In joining our undercover staff, you'll have to burn all your bridges behind you. I've done that, sir. You're joining an army. An army where there are no banners, no medals for heroism, and death is the only honorable discharge. When you walk out of that door, you're starting on a lonely road. If you get into trouble, we won't help you. We'll deny that you're one of our men. I understand. Well, I hoped you wouldn't let me talk you out of it. Your full instructions. Of course, you'll have to use various names from now on, and depending upon where and what you're working on. Now, with us, you'll always have a number. It'll never change. Remember it. 64. 64. Your opposite number will be 46. My opposite number? Yes, you see, it wouldn't be fair or even sensible to send you out on your first assignment alone. Now, 46 has been with us a long time. He's a good man. You'll like him. Oh, may I ask what he's working on? Well, I won't know until his work is finished and he's made his report. You, uh, you can still change your mind. All right. Good luck, 64. Thank you, sir. Raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, Mark Sheldon, do solemnly swear. I, Mark Sheldon, do solemnly swear. The office is closed. It's too bad. I came a long way to talk business. A long way? Kansas City, by way of Washington. Oh, uh, come in. All right, what is it you want? I want to find out the market price of national debentures, those Washington specials. Are you a stockholder? Yes. For how long? Since last Tuesday night at 946. How many shares do you own? 64. How many do you want to buy? 46. I have exactly 46. I think we can make a deal. Certainly glad you got here. Let's go to my office. We've got acquainted. Well, you ready to go to work? Yes, sir. Now, look, we're partners. None of that sir business with me. Come on, sit down. I've been working on this case for six months. I've got a lot of information, but so far I haven't been able to prove a thing. And I'll tell you one thing. You and I are going to try to smash the dirtiest racket any man ever invented. Don't tell me there's a new racket. Yeah. Right here. That is an island. Dead Man's Island. And a very good name for it, too. It's United States territory, but it's so small and unimportant that nobody pays any attention to it. Except the man we're after. He owns it. Did you ever hear of a man by the name of Donnell? Stephen Donnell? I don't think so. Well, Stephen Donnell is our man. Lincoln freed the slaves. Mr. Donnell is back in the trade, doing very well at it, too. What's his nationality? I don't know. Might be anything. But he's an American citizen now, and that makes him our problem. He deals in paroled men, convicts who think he's giving them a new start in life. But what they really get is a slow living death. Catch in here. It'll spoil everything. Remember, Danelle. Good luck. Come on, All right, stand back. 
Come on. Why did you kill him? I didn't kill and him. And who did? I wish I knew. Who are you? What's your name? Okay, we'll find out. Your fingerprints are on that gun. I told you I used that gun. Shooting at whoever was on the fire escape. You burned something here. What? That's my business. You admit you were here when this guy was killed? Yes. All right. You're locked in this office with the guy. He gets shot in the back. Your fingerprints are on the gun. Nobody else's. We catch you trying to make a getaway. That's right. And you didn't kill him? No. And you haven't got a name? If you want a name, make it John Smith. All right, wise guy. Maybe you'll change your story tomorrow. Come on, Mr. Smith. What happened, sir? A guy just killed somebody. Shot him down like a dog. Oh, but that's shocking, isn't it? They're bringing him out now. Say, I never saw a murderer before. Did you? No. All right, folks, break it up. Let him get out. Break it up. Come on, get out. Back up. Get over. All right, come on. Get back, you. Everything okay? Of course. The police just took the unfortunate gentleman away. Why should an old story affect you so deeply, Mr. Brand? If this were the first time, but uh, of course it isn't. Chicago was the first time, wasn't it? And then uh, San Francisco. You ought to do something about your nervous condition, Mr. Brand. Nervous men sometimes talk too much, and they make mistakes. And you mustn't make mistakes, Mr. Brand. And you must never talk too much. But I got a right to know what's happened. Hmm? Oh, yes, of course. You see, Mr. Brand, the man who was so interested in my personal affairs is quite dead. And a gentleman who came to see him is under arrest for murder. Hmm? But maybe he knows something. You don't have to worry about that. I'll watch this case. Good night, Mr. Brand. And, uh, pleasant dreams. sentence, I must say to you, John Smith, I feel, as I'm sure the jurors felt, that much of the real story of your crime has not been told. And I must add that your refusal to tell the true story, to identify yourself or to offer any believable defense, probably had much to do with the jury's verdict. No evidence was introduced to show that there was any gain for you in the crime you committed. The peculiar circumstances of this case justify the jury in returning a verdict of guilty. Under the law, I must sentence you to be committed to the state penitentiary and there to serve a term of from one to 20 years. Have you any statement you wish to make to this court? I have nothing to say.
all set, Mr. Donnell. Thank you, Captain. I trust you understand why it is necessary to punish this young man. Where men live and work together, discipline is essential. Quite essential, and uh, sometimes an object lesson becomes necessary, as it has today. Unfortunately, this is causing all of us to lose valuable time from our work. Twenty lashes, Captain. Yes, sir. Eddie, I hope I'll hear good reports on your conduct hereafter. Conductor. Oh, come on, shake hands. Now, shake hands. Come on, give me a hand. Give me a hand. Okay. Siggy. Yes, sir. Don't you have any work to do for Mrs. Dinell? Keep that monkey away from me. Yes, sir. Very lovely, these flowers. I had a very annoying afternoon. Please, Lorraine, put on something else. I don't like that. And then come back. I want you to play for me. I wouldn't if I were you. Your hands, Doctor. You really ought to keep yourself cleaner. I'm sorry. You know, I'm leaving for the mainland tomorrow, Doctor. Yes? Yes. To bring back some friends I've kept track of. Friends like Mr. Smith. The young man has made repeated applications for parole. Naturally, he wants to get out of prison, all convicts do, but uh, in his case, he might have a special reason for wanting out, and I think I ought to help Mr. Smith to get his parole. What do you think, Doctor? Mr. Donnell, I probably shouldn't say this. I don't want you to be offended, but I wonder... You're trying to say I should stop, uh, shall we say, recruiting paroled men for my island? Yes. Yes, it's dangerous. Yes. Very dangerous, but not as dangerous, Doctor, as if I were to employ ordinary workmen who might be able to tell too much. Also, the work is very hard. Men who could leave would. No, Doctor, I think for our purpose, parole men are much better. Men like yourself. Yes, Mr. Deneau. I'm so glad you agree with me, Doctor. Yes, Mr. Smith. I shall talk to you very soon. You may go, Doctor. My favorite gown. And one of my favorite pieces of music. How did you know I liked the nocturne so well? Oh, you told me a long time ago. 
I... I didn't want to play it for you until... until I was sure I knew it perfectly. It's very thoughtful of you, Lorraine. this time. I remember when I saw you the first time on the stage. You were beautiful. Very beautiful. But your acting was always unconvincing to me. I can't stand staying here. I can't. You're afraid to take me with you. I know too much. Afraid? Darling, don't you know that a man's wife can never testify against him? And you are my wife. Yes. Because I was a fool. Of course, you'll leave me if you could once we reach the mainland, but I couldn't let you do that. I need you here. Remember when... when you met me and told me how much you'd love to leave the stage and come with me? Remember, Lorraine? For rich and for poorer, for better and for worse, in sickness and in health? Stop talking about it. I don't regret my bargain, you do. You must get over that. This is your home. A man's wife must always be in his home and waiting for him, isn't that right? Lorraine, you mustn't walk away when I'm talking to you. Just the finest diamond ever found on my island. I'm going to give it to you. I don't want it. I know that, but I want you to have it. You're enjoying this so much, aren't you? I'm a prisoner here. You'll never let me leave. You don't dare. All right, I'm here. Aren't you satisfied? Isn't that enough? Stop torturing me. I believe in giving deserving men decent jobs in pleasant surroundings, a chance to earn peace and contentment. The men who work with me are free of all the things that make criminals out of paroled men. I have gone over the list of applicants before your board, and uh, I'm especially interested in a young man who calls himself John Smith. I ask you to parole him in my custody, and I promise you, gentlemen, if you let him come with me, He'll never again be a burden on your taxpayers or on society. Here, gentlemen, is my little island.
What do you want? Mr. Donnell will want you in the picture with a new man. How many this time? Five. And how long will they live? One moment, gentlemen. We have no police on the island, so one has to take certain precautions. Oh, I wouldn't touch those wires if I were you, Mr. Smith. There's a slight electric current passing through them. To keep out the animals and snakes. You see, the jungle comes awfully close to us here. Gentlemen. My dear. I've missed you. Gentlemen, my wife. Hi, I do. do, do. I think we'll all remember this day, and uh, as a souvenir, I thought we'd all pose for a little picture. Sort of a record of the visitors to my island, which I'd like to keep. Over here, I think, would be all right. You don't mind, gentlemen, do you? No, no. My dear, I think it would be nice if you posed shaking hands with Mr. Smith. Florian, please. All ready, Doctor? All ready, Mr. Donnell. Now, let's all have a nice, happy smile, huh? <laughs> I think I moved. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen. Let's all be seated over there, Mr. Borgo. Sit right down, please. Over there. Hmm. See, I want to compliment you on this charming arrangement. Have you lived here long, Mr. Donnell? Three years. You visit the mainland sometimes, don't you? I... I never leave the island. Oh, I should think you'd enjoy going on these trips with Mr. Donnell. Lorraine, your guests are waiting. Thank you, Mr. Smith. You're a very fortunate man, Mr. Donnell. I think so, Mr. Smith. This reminds me of old times before my... For my trouble. You can forget all about your troubles here, Mr. Ames. I don't imagine you greatly enjoy sitting at a table with convicts, do you, Mrs. Dunar? Do you like your lunch, Mr. Smith? Very much. It's the last square meal you'll get. You dirty slave trading rat! How did he get in here? Made a break and slugged the guard. I'm sorry, Mr. Donnell. Take him away and hurry up. Help them, Doctor. Brand, watch these men. Right. But why did they shoot him? They'll shoot you, too, if you don't do exactly what you are told to. But, Mr. Donnell, Get I... away from me! Put your hands up, all of you! Step over here. Come on, get going. Let go of my wife, Mr. Smith. You heard, Mr. Donnell. Put your hands up. Move. Go into the house, Lorraine. Captain. I'm sorry, gentlemen, you didn't have time to finish your meal. But you'll have to go with Captain Court now. And remember, you'll be shot if you ever dare to come near this place again. Take them away, Captain. Come on, move. Doctor, wasn't it? Dead? Not yet. But don't forget to have some extra prints of the picture we just took. I promised I'd send one of our friend, Mr. Smith, to the warden. 
What do you plan to do about him? What do I plan to do about him? I have many plans for Mr. Smith. very glad to see me. I hate the sight of you. I know that. Lorraine, you have been in Mr. Smith's arms. Nothing like that must ever happen again. It embarrasses me. You're my wife and he's a murderer. And what are you? I'm your husband. Lorraine, remember this stone? You can't bribe me with that. Why should I bribe you? You've tried everything else and failed. No matter what you do, you'll always fail. I've never failed and I will never fail. I won't wear that. You can't make me. Of course you will. So Mr. Smith approves of my taste, huh? There's only one thing that Mr. Smith doesn't know. What I own, I keep. But he'll learn. So will you. Take up the irons! Fire it up, fire it up! In front of your bed! Oh, move along, move along! Why don't you get the doctor for him, if he is a doctor? What's that to you? Nothing. Only he's dying. You don't want to lose any good hard workers, do you? Come on, quit faking. I'm not faking. Maybe he needs a taste of this. Well, if he ain't better in the morning, he's going to get it. And you want to stop talking so much. Now get to your bed. Lay down. James! Mr. Dinell wants to see Mr. Smith up at the house. Huh? What does he want with you? Maybe he wants a new captain. Mr. Dinell said to bring him up right away. Okay. Go on. I'll be walking right behind you, so I don't start anything. Why should I? I like it here. Go on. Sure, Captain. I just wondered who was playing. You see, I'm quite a music lover. Go to your room, Lorraine. Please. I've never had a chance to hear how you talk to your other prisoners. Do you mind if I stay? It might impress me. Go to your room. Come in, Captain. Mr. Smith. You'll forgive me if I don't ask you to sit down, Mr. Smith, but your clothes and my furniture. I'm sure you'll understand. Were you actually stupid enough, Mr. Smith, to believe you were fooling me? I don't know what you mean. You see, I had an office in a building. Across the hall, a man was killed, and you were convicted of murder. I know who that man was, Mr. Smith. So does anybody who read about the trial. His name was Jackson. Jackson wasn't his real name. Oh, wasn't it? I want to know how much that man told you and who else knows what he told you. He didn't tell me anything. Don't lie to me, Mr. Smith. You saw a man shot today. I can have you shot too. And no one will ever know. 
I know that. But I can also let you live, and you may live for a long time. I know that, too. Then, uh, don't you think you better tell me? I don't know what you're talking about. Captain. Yes, sir. This man is a government agent. You've got a great imagination, Mr. Denell. Shut up. Thank you, Captain. Oh, Captain, I think you know what would happen to you if outsiders found out about our island. And, uh, this gentleman seems to believe we can't make him tell. Who else besides himself knows about us? I'm afraid you'll have to use your ingenuity, Captain. And, of course, uh, we don't want him to die until he has told us what he knows. Take him out, Captain. Plenty of time, Mr. Smith. All the time in the world. Better call out the U.S. Marines. Come on, let's get some sleep. Take it, Eddie. How long have you been here? Three years. You must know a lot about the island. I ought to. Anybody ever try to get away? Sure. Lots of them. Nobody ever made it, though. 480 miles to the nearest island. There's sharks all around the island. Old guys that tried to build a raft or a boat, but they always get caught. Maybe they went at the wrong way. What do you mean? Well, there's plenty to know, a couple of guards. If you boys had worked together, maybe something might happen. Take the island away from them. What do we use? Our hands? What are you two guys talking about? Not a thing. <laughs> something for me. Yes, ma'am, if I can. You can get out of here sometimes. I can't. You know the new man who just came, John Smith? I've got to talk to him. Oh, but you're not allowed to talk to the man. I've got to talk to him. Ziggy, you want to get off this island, don't you? Don't you? Oh, sure, sure I do, but... Well, I'll do the best I can. I'll go down there when they're feeding the men. Or maybe I'll get a chance to talk to him. Try, will you? I've asked you not to come in the kitchen, Lorraine. I just wanted to make sure everything was perfect for dinner. I know how anything imperfect upsets you. It's very thoughtful of you. Thank you.
What did Mrs. Donnell really want, Siggy? Oh, just what she said, Mr. Donnell. I told you I don't want the monkey in the house, didn't I? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Step up, step up. Come on, step into it, step into it. Second line, move in. Come on, move in, move in. Hurry up, back there, hurry up. I can't eat this stuff. The smell of it makes me sick. That's better than nothing, I guess. Come on, move on, move on. What are you standing there for? Come on, move up. Step up, step up. talk to you. What about? Mrs. Adele wants to see you. What? Well, look, I got to talk fast, so listen. She doesn't like it here any more than we do. And she wants to get out, too. She thinks maybe you can help her. I told her you couldn't. Janelle sent you, didn't he? Oh, no, no. If he even knew I was talking to you to tie me to the post. She's awful anxious to see you. That's all I know, and I got to get out of here. I don't know what he'd do. I did the best I could. Honest, I did. Good night. Did I tell you about that monkey? I'll teach you. No! Threw that thing out. Didn't you hear me? You're so brave. Against things that can't fight back. Don't make me do anything else, Lorraine. Please don't. Oh, yes, I have a little business with Mr. Smith. I'll be back. Don't overdo it, Captain. There's a lot Mr. Smith ought to tell me, and uh, he may want to tell me before you're finished. Oh, and be sure that he's able to work tomorrow. Good night, Mr. Smith. beat me to death, so what? Then I'll get another man to take my place. You too. If your foot slips, he gets another man to take your place. And what do you get for it? Donnell sits up on his hill with his safe full of diamonds. And you, you do all his dirty work. Just a big dumb ox. You do all the work, and Donnell gets all the gravy. Why don't you get smart? You silly ape. Come on, wake up. Come on! What's the matter? Got a patient for you. I'll take good care of him, Doc. You know, he's Donnell's pet prisoner. I hate to lose him. You're not going to leave me alone with him. What's the matter with the gun? Come on, let's go.
crying, Lorraine. Many men are whipped on this island. You've never cried before. Mr. Smith. You've only seen him once. He's tall and dark and quite attractive, I suppose. Why speak about him? So unimportant. What's the matter, Captain? The man is on the island. Can't you find him? We've been looking for him all night, Mr. Donnell. And you'll keep looking for him every day and every night until you do find him. Or I'll get a captain who can. Come on. Touch those wires. I know. You said Mrs. Donnell wanted to see me. Tell her I'm here. If she's got anything to say, she can come out. Tell her I won't be here long. They're gonna get you. You better get away from here quick. Maybe. Go on now. Go on. Hey, look. You follow his trail, I'll be back at the house. Over there. Talk fast, Mrs. Janelle. You said you wanted to see me. Why? Are you really working for the government? What difference does that make? I'm as much a prisoner here as you are. As any of the men down there. Oh, I was a fool. I, I wanted a good home and security. That's why I married Stephen Donnell. I've been a prisoner ever since. And I'll be a prisoner until he kills me. I die. Can you help me get away? Can I help you, whatever you're trying to do? Has he got a radio sending set? No. Any guns in the house? Yes, in a locked room. I've never been in it. You're taking a big chance being with me now. Will you take a bigger one? I'll do anything. We've got to get guns. I'll pick men I can trust among the prisoners, wait for our break, open up in the guards, and take over the island. It's the only way. Can you get your husband's keys? I don't know. Will you try? Yes. I'm going back now. I can't swing this alone. We've got to take our time. But you take your time, too. We've got to have those keys. Psst. 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 Go back in the house now. Hurry. and upset. I wonder why. I'm just happy. Because my husband is home. I don't like you when you talk like that. I'm so sorry. Of course, you know that Mr. Smith is at liberty. Mr. Smith? Yes, I, I remember. Where were you right now, Lorraine? Why, in my room. Alone? Of course.
This is you. Stand still, I got you covered. You got a strong trigger finger, but a weak mind. Listen, you. Now, one minute isn't gonna cost you anything. Now, you do some listening and some thinking. Your boss wants to know who I am. Well, I'm a smart guy. I killed a guy that was after Denell, sure. But I found out what he knew first. I found out where there was a stack of diamonds just waiting for someone to come along and get them. He thinks I'm a government man. Well, I'm not. I'm on my own. I had a tough time getting here, and it's gonna be a whole lot tougher getting out. But if I can get off this island and back to the States, I got connections. I can sell Denell's stuff for more cash than you'll see if you love a million years. Unless you get smart. What do you think you're doing? If you work with me, we can make the biggest cleanup that ever happened. Or you can take me back and whip the life out of me and tell Denell what a fine boy you are. And sooner or later, you'll be dead. Well, if you're such a big shot, what do you want with me? I want a partner, a chance to move around, figure the angles. You are a swell target. I didn't have to talk to you, you know. Go on, take it. But if there's any brain in that thick head of yours, use it. Go on, start walking. You claim you got big ideas. Tell them to me and make it fast. You mean you want to make a deal? I want to know what you got to sell. Well, if we're going to take over this island, we've got to get rid of Denell. We've got to be able to get at the guns he's got in the house, the plane he's got locked up in the hangar, and the stuff we want from the house. How can you do that? I've got an angle. Yeah? What angle? Mrs. Denell. What do you mean? Mrs. Denell is trying to get his keys for me. That's all we need. Well, why should she be working for you? What do you think? She's waiting for me out there now. Look, Court, you didn't bring me back here to put me in solitary. You did it because you want to throw in with me. All right. If you want to gamble, play the whole hand. Fix it so I can get out of here at night and roam around. Then let me get out of here a couple hours every night until I can get to Mrs. Donnell. Then what? Then when we're all set, we take over. You and me. Well, what if Donnell gets wise? You're in the clear. What could you do with a million dollars? How about it? Put your hands up there. Go on. I ain't gonna lock him. I'm gonna take a chance once. But if you double-cross me... Why I'll... should I? I'll be here at four in the morning to get you out to work. And you'd better be here. I'll be here. All set? Yeah, all set.
get away from here. Here. How did you do it? I, I just took them. What are we going to do? About a half a dozen men I can trust down there. I'll get them loose and then try to get guns for them. Court thinks I'm working with him. I had to do a lot of lying. You will take me with you, won't you? Let go of my wife, Mr. Smith. Let go of my wife. Give me the keys. Lorraine, you should have remembered I'm a very light sleeper. For the sake of my wife, don't force me to have you killed in front of her. Go home, Lorraine. I'll give you orders about him in the morning. Captain, give me a gun. You are a very clever man, Mr. Smith. But unfortunately, court wasn't clever enough. You didn't realize that Brand had a suspicion and told me everything. You take charge from now on, Captain Brand. All right, get going. Lock me up with the other prisoners, so you'd better kill me. Because there's nothing in the world you can do to make me stop hating you. the other half lives, Court. Stand back. Lie down. Chains. You sure look good there, Court. we got to do is get Donnell. He's got guns up at the house. Are you going to follow me? Do what you're told and play the game my way. If this works, we all get out of here. Hold it. Uh, you're a great talker and you've got a great line. But I don't like you and I'm running things now. You know, I've been talking to a few of the boys myself. And you know what you're going to do, Mr. Smart Guy? You're going to talk to Mrs. Donnell and you're going to get us in that house if you can. 
And if you can't, I'm going to blow you apart. Margo, Durkin, you know what I promised? You go along. Well, the first thing we got to do is to get to Nell. And you keep your hands off that woman. I'll take care of her myself. Oh, come on, get going. Come on, hurry up. No possible way to get through that fence. You're wrong, Doctor. What do you mean? I'm going to play ball with you, Court. I think I can get through. Well, you're crazy. It's sure death. And if you do, then what? After I get through, I get to Nell. Then I'll open the gate. You can relax. You've got nothing to lose. Would you like to try it first, Captain? Go on. I'll see you in a minute. Don't try to pull anything. Don't worry. You're the boss. You'll never get into the house. Hoping you would come soon. Court's out there. Court and a couple of men. They're armed and they're coming in. But you didn't come to see me. You came to see my wife. Come, Mr. Smith. I'll get here for you. Wait. Lorraine. Lorraine! Forgive me, Mr. Smith. She'll be here in a moment. Stand very close to him, very close. Yes, Lorraine. Smile. He likes you when you smile, Lorraine. Listen to me. That gang's coming in after her. When I find a flower in a diamond, I throw it away. To remember it's a long time ago. Everything on this island belonged to me. Everything. And it was beautiful. My wife, beautiful. So beautiful. And then you came. And you touched my wife. Captain, 
gun. Come in, gentlemen. Come in. I want you to meet my wife. Don't touch her. You'll forget him, Lorraine. You'll forget everything after a while. I want you to meet these gentlemen, Lorraine. They are your friends. You like them. I'm going to let you go back with them. I want you to be happy. But you must say goodbye to Mr. Smith. I'm not going to kill you, Lorraine. I want you to live. Live for a long time. <laughs> Dead Man's Island. 